In this video, we're going to learn how to use the rAd method in Python. So the rAd method is what's called a dunder method or magic method in Python. It's a method that we can create inside a class to define how objects of that class type should behave when they're the right operand of an add operator. It's a lot like the add method. Let's go over how the add magic method works. We'll have a class to represent bank accounts. And when a bank account is created, what we'll do is initialize a balance attribute to some initial balance. So what we'll have is self dot balance is equal to some initial balance argument. Now we could create two bank account objects. We'll have account one is equal to a bank account with a balance of 1000 and account two is equal to a bank account with a balance of 2000. If I try to add together these two bank account objects using the addition operator, it's not going to work. So here, if I have account one plus account two and assign the result to new account, and then we try to save the program and run it, we'll get an error. It says unsupported operand types for the addition operator. If I want to define how the addition operator should work for bank account objects, I could define the add dunder method. So we could have def and then add, and this method has two parameters. We'll have self and then other. And this method is going to be called when we have account one plus account two, where self is going to be set to account one. So this method is being called essentially for the account one object. And then other is going to be set to account two. And we could make this method do pretty much whatever we want. What we'll have it do is return a new bank account object with the combined balance of both bank accounts, because that's what makes sense. So what we'll do is have total is equal to this bank accounts balance plus the other bank accounts balance. Then we're going to return a new bank account object with the combined balance of both. And what we could do is output this new accounts balance down here. So we'll have print new account dot balance. If we save the program and try it out, we'll get here a bank account with a combined balance of 3000, which is correct. Now let's say we also want the addition operator to support adding together a bank account object with let's say an integer. So let's delete account two, and now we'll have account one plus 4,000. Let's say we want the addition operator to support this and return a new bank account object with a balance of 5,000. We could do this too. So what we'll do is check the type of other. And if other is an integer, we'll handle that situation differently. We'll use the is instance function to check the type of other. So we'll have is instance other int. And if this returns true, that means other is an integer. In that case, we'll calculate the total with self.balance plus other. And we just add other right to self.balance because other is an int value. Otherwise, we'll do it as we did before. Then we're going to return a bank account object with that new total. So now if we save the program and try it out, we do get here a bank account with a balance of 5,000. Now here's where defining the rad method is going to be useful. Let's say we have 4,000 plus account one. In this case here, account one is the right operand of this addition operator. So right now, if we save the program and try it out, we'll get an error. Unsupported operand types for addition, int and bank account. And the problem is this time with account one as the right operand, it's this 4,000 int objects add method that was called when the addition operator was used. And that objects add method doesn't know how to deal with this bank account object here. So we get this error here. Now, anytime the add method of the left operand is either not defined or it returns the special value not implemented, the rAd method of this object is going to be called. 
So if we defined the rAd method for the bank account object, we could have that method called in this situation. We'll define it now. We'll have here def, and we'll have rAd, and then self, and other. So this method is going to be called in this situation here with 4,000 plus account one. And when it is, account one is going to be self and other is going to be set to 4,000. Now in this case here, we want addition to be commutative. What that means is that A plus B should behave just like B plus A. We can swap the order of the operands and we want the same result. So in this situation, what we can do is just call the add method. We could just have return and we'll have self add and then we'll pass it other. And this will give us the behavior we want because this object here is a bank account and other is an int. And we've defined how the add should work in that case where other is an int and we have self as a bank account object. So now if we save the program and try it out, we'll get here a balance of 5,000. And so that's how and why we can use the rad method in Python. Now, one more thing I'll show you is what if we want the addition operator to work not only with integers and bank account objects, but any type of number in Python. So for example, a float like 4,000.50, we could do this too. What we'll do is from numbers, we'll import number. Then down here, we'll check if other is an instance of number. Now, if we save the program and try it out, this will also work. And so it's going to work with any type of number in Python. So this is how we can use the rad method in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.